Welcome back everybody to my channel. My name is Hobo Joe and in this episode we are we have a lot to do. Oh and by the way it's episode 5 of Spiral with Hobo Joe. As you can see I've been doing a little bit of off the camera XP farming. I've actually got a bunch of now and I've put some of the rotten flesh in the village. I've been gathering up some emeralds but yeah like, we got a list of stuff to do in this episode. Starting off with probably some terrain terraforming over by my base and then putting in a wheat farm since I only carry that tradition of Spiral with Humble Joe having a wheat farm just like the first one and then I also want to make the river that we made look better and then build a dock on this side and on that side connecting that and then I also want a bridge going to another portal and then I need to link up another portal but to start off this episode let's go do some enchanting my process doing the enchantments went okay I got pretty decent enchantments like all my pants were fine and the axe was good but the helmet and wasn't that fine but then I started gathering resources because I actually wanted to start off by going into the nether to get some netherite so I gathered as much trees as I possibly could and as you guys know I've been collecting a lot of wool over this season or over the course of these past five episodes so I can get into the nether and get as much engine debris as possible and I gotta say guys this was super easy this is the easiest time I've ever had doing ancient debris and I don't know I just kept being uh, like every explosion I get just at least one or two and it was super fast. It took me like a, like a couple of hours I think. And as you can see I accidentally threw my sword into the uh, lava but this was super awesome. Like I saw, so there's two just different spawning veins right next to each other which is I've never seen before. Not even like in the testing world when 1.16 came out. And then I look down and I see two more which are another spawning vein. And I was so happy, I couldn't believe this. It's something like so rare that I've never seen before. Let me know if you guys have seen anything like this because this is like the first time I've seen so much ancient debris next to each other. But I had a blast finding this ancient debris and I actually really enjoy the process now. Uh, I had to take a break from doing netherite hunting, which I'm almost done. I have like 36, I believe. Ancient Debris, which is super awesome, it's going really fast, it's the, the best luck I've ever had when it comes to getting netherite armor, and my armor, as you can see, is about to break, so I need to get mending on these, and mend them up, so I want to grab some blaze rods, at least one, I want to get an eye of ender, and make an ender chest to put my stuff in. But I also want bone and a blaze rod to make a brewing stand. This and boom, then boom. Take some sugar boom. Spider eye. Don't know how to I think it's three. Yep. We need to just get some water. Perfect. I haven't made potions in forever, so I might be doing this wrong. And I wouldn't even know. But I believe it's a fermented spider eye that will make a potion of wheat. Just gonna be curing my mending villager, and I might do the cleric because then he will buy rotten flesh at a way cheaper price. While in the time lapse, I accidentally threw my diamond pickaxe into the lava, which is very interesting. So I don't know if that's but so I have a lot more than three. So maybe we can get something good on this pickaxe. And I'm sorry about this, I'm actually. I'll 
I'll just take shotgun. Yeah, I don't really care about looting. Uh, I want looting for like the end. Like, other than that, I'm breaking. Oh, well, that's all we could do. So, if I'm breaking for now, hopefully one of our villagers or our librarian villager will have some good books. Now that it's nighttime, I just need to wait and find a zombie so that I can bring him over to my villager's house unsuspectingly in the night and have him turn into a zombie. No, 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 no. Sweet. Now, if I just... Ocean of weakness, then sweet three emerald. That's super good. Here, let's, I have a bunch of emeralds at my house. I'm just going to buy one of those just real fast. That is super awesome. I did not expect it to work so well. A cleric, on the other hand, a lot of flesh is 26, so that's not that bad. 26 is better than 32. As you can see, my mending villager just updated again. That was three, and yeah, we definitely got a bunch of mending books. I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need for now. I mean, I, we can get all of our stuff. As you can see, man, that was awesome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is amazing. Can I get can I get one more by chance? No, I cannot. Well, now I'm gonna spend some time at the gold farm and get all of my tools all kitted out. And I might just wait and just upgrade everything before I do my mending. Since I do have 30 levels, I can try to see if I can get like the last couple good enchantments, like my helmet and stuff, before I mend it all up, but we'll see how that all goes. I got all of my tools all mended up as you can see and I actually got all my armor as well except for my sword and my helmet because I actually need to get a better enchantment because right now it's only blast protection and I'd like some at least some unbreaking maybe aqua infinity and respiration that would be really awesome for the helmet and of course more than just unbreaking on the sword because the sword is very important but other than that all of our tools are all kitted out and they do need a little bit of work like this one's fortune 2 but that's not a big deal and yeah so i'm going to sit here just for a little bit longer and i'm going to get like around 40 levels and then i'm going to go right back into the nether and get some nether actually i'm going to enchant my sword or try to and my helmet and a bow and then go back into the nether now that I have 40 levels, I want to just take a quick little peek at what I can get. Bainer Arthropods, 4, Protection 4, Aqua Infinity and Breaking 3, and then we can get a Mending Book on that, and boom, that is our helmet. That is a really good helmet. All needs is respiration, but I feel like I can find one of those. And now, Sharpness 4, Knockback 2, you know what? Let's take it for now, and then we can find an unbreaking, maybe we can find a looting three book from our villagers, because you can find any book from the villagers, thankfully. Now we have mending on our sword and our helmet, so I'm going to go back to the gold farm, repair this helmet, and of course the sword, but that'll only take a minute. Then I'll go back into the nether and get the rest of our ancient debris to get our netherite armor. I've gotten all the ancient debris. I actually got 47. After I got enough, I decided to stay a little bit longer just to use all the beds that I had. But I'm actually moving my nether portal to the spot that is where a new nether portal is because every time I load in, it spawns me a bit further away than I want. But I accidentally forgot a flint and steel, so now I need to go run over to this lava lake and using the, the birch wood that I have, I'm gonna make just like a, a makeshift 
point in steel well it's really just going to light the warm fire and it's going to light the portal which is not that hard there we go i feel like that was such an easier way to do it there we go 11 netherite ingots Ooh. that is awesome we're making a whole lot of progress it's really cool we already have like the cool netherite stuff the funny thing is this was way easier than so long to get diamonds, and this took me very long time at all. Like, I just kept finding them. And I don't know if like, the dude can respond, but like, yeah, I had no trouble at all with the diamonds, which is super awesome. Now, let's get on to the builds. So, this took me a little bit. Um, the course of last night and a little bit this morning, I tried to make the shape more natural in this river by bending the stream from ways that make it, you know. More natural, of course, because I had it where it was super straight and parallel going down, and it looked very man made. And I kind of wanted to make it natural, but also like someone modified it. And I actually really enjoy it. I know these corners look really weird and stuff, but that's okay. I can live with that until I, you know, have a solution. I didn't have the problem so long that it feels like, you know, I can't do anything anymore. But I really do like it. It's way better than I had it at first. Now I need to just put two docks and on the side. And I just want to do a simple design. I might change it later after the ideas, but we'll see how these go.
both sides of the river bank. I like them, they're just simple designs. I've had trouble kind of, you know, really integrating the oak, uh, the, the dark oak into the design. I don't really, because I wanted the, because the dark oak looks like wet wood in my opinion, so I was kind of trying to put that around there, but I don't know. I have a couple other ideas. I'm going to see if these grow on me, and if not, we can just update these later. This one's super simple. I actually had more trouble on this one than the one back there because... It was diagonal at first on the other side and I just I couldn't get a design I wanted to make them the same but then I said I can change them just a little bit but now this thing is finally finished and I really like how the whole entire thing looks all together I might just expand the docks covering most of the coast over here but I think that's a project for another time because I, I am running out of time I did want to get a bridge in on that side, but I think I might just leave that for the next episode as I have been working on this for a while and I need to get videos out or <laughs> if because if I keep working on stuff I don't think I'll ever get them out. But as you can see I did cut through here and put a little river in. And this one looks more natural. I actually like the way this one looks a little bit more than the one that had the core on, so coral on so we'll see how how things turn out because in my build nothing's really ever finished I kind of just like to constantly update stuff because that's how stuff gets better you know if they stay stagnant you know they kind of age over time but the more you update things the more you improve stuff the better you are and I want to challenge myself in this season but with that being said thank you guys for watching I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if I've earned your subscription or if you like the video give it a like you know it's still weird saying that because it's new but you know i'll get i'll get used to it i'll get used to asking you guys for stuff but anyways thank you guys for watching this episode take care and god bless